Okay, so we have two stages here. We got this one, which takes a, uh, a piece of cloth and folds it into bias tape, like folds it in like that. And then we have this other one, which takes a uh, takes a piece of bias tape and it folds it in half, so that uh, so that you can sew it. Now I have the first one lined up over here. Let's see. So let's see. Gonna feed this through here. I may need like a pencil or something to poke the uh, the fabric through because it doesn't always want to go immediately. Um, this thing. There we go. Takes a little bit of finagling to get it lined up right, but then, okay. There we go. Cool. So the second stage doesn't work very well with the, uh, just straight out of this one. So, kind of have to iron this one. I had vague thoughts of like, what if you just had a setup? We've got this thing and the other thing and an iron in between and it just feeds right into the sewing machine. Is that, uh, is that steam? It was, looked like smoke, but here I'll let you see the, uh, the process going on over there briefly. And there's that first bit. Now we have uh, bias tape, I guess. Okay, now I have uh, have the second stage here attached to my sewing machine. As you can, where did I put them? Just gonna borrow this. So it has uh, these things have. Um, have little flanges, little slots in the side, and you can just like thread tape through there, so that then you just stick to stuff. So that's what I did here. Uh, I'm not great with the sewing machine, so uh, this may the results here may be mixed, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So you uh, you fold this thing a little bit and you feed it through this 90 degree slot here. This one actually goes through pretty well most of the time. So, uh, and then you feed that in there. Now, frankly, I'm not too clear on what conditions you'd normally uh, use bias tape in this way. Like, I know you fold it over stuff and uh, sew it, but in any case, you can... Th this is a thing you can do. If you, like, for instance, if you're making ties out of the stuff. Uh, for tying things, not for wearing around your neck. You could if you wanted, but anyway. Um, I've noticed that this stuff has a tendency to drift a bit, so I kind of I try to keep my fingers on it. And uh, I can guide the process. Eventually it reaches a bit of an equilibrium and, uh, and things uh, get pretty stable. Goes in here, thing narrows down and folds it in half, and then it comes out the other side and you just feed it under the feeder uh, to put. <laughs> sewing machine is just whoop. <laughs> yep, I uh, went too fast and uh, stopped paying attention to the uh, the moving end. But anyway, I think you get the idea. Um, just you know, pay better attention than I did.